Hi guys, today I'm on my phone recording this video and I'm just going to go over what I have in my gearbox that I take when I go diving. Over this side, as you can see, I got three pairs of fins depending on the situation. I have a smaller size pair. These are for when I'm diving without any boots on. They're just um, body gloves, they're just from Anaconda. I uh, can't remember exactly how much they are, then. about 60 bucks I think they were. I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, these ones are the same as the previous ones. Oh, hooked up yet. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's coming over on the video, it's raining outside. <laughs> These are um, the same, just the larger size. So if I don't, if I'm wearing boots, I can put these ones on. If it's the water's a bit colder, um, and then for when I'm in deeper water, I also have these ones from US Divers. I don't know how much these are retail. Um, they, I was given these for free, so yeah, I'm not too sure on the exact specs on those ones. Um, here I've got, um, again from Anaconda, just, uh, from Body Glove, again, uh, snorkel and mask. I did get, um, a mask a strap tamer from Arino. Really handy if you got longer hair or, um, this mask needs a bit of a clean, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> um, it also comes with a, uh, GoPro mount, as you can see on top there very handy I always use that um, in the back here behind the seat I just got in the container here uh, my camera mounts uh, that line I was talking about in my last video and a pair of uh, rock shoes or beat shoes whatever you want to call them uh, here I also have a helmet uh, I don't use this very much, but occasionally I do, especially if the water's a bit more rough um, or I'm just a bit worried. It's a um, fully waterproof helmet. This one's a Protec helmet. I got this from LE Gear. Um, what else we got here? I, um, just some uh, D rings. I think that's what they call them. Oh, I'm not sure. Carabiners, it's Caribbean, not D rings. The, that's the D-ring, the, the silver one. <laughs> uh, a couple of carabiners on the D-ring that fits onto my um, dive belt. So that way I can hook stuff up if I need to, like spare lines or whatever. Uh, I used to carry a float so I can put my rope through and keep um, any rope I want at, so, at the surface. Uh, this is my weight belt. At the moment I've got four kilos of weight on there. It depends on where I am. Where I'm diving, I take one off, add one if I need to, whatever. Um some these boots, these are from uh body glove ones, same again from Anaconda. Um I think I need to go get a new pair. Because these ones, um if you don't wear them all the time, I've noticed they actually start to shrink. The rubber in them actually shrinks. Um I don't know why, but yeah. They used to fit me really well, then I went for a while without getting in the water, I went to put them on. I haven't gained that much weight with my feet. <laughs> but you know, they're really, really tight. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just gaining a couple extra kilos. Uh, I also carry anti-fog gel. This one's a bit, um, I don't know, seems to get a bit solid inside, so I might need to get a new one then. That's from Madrino as well. Uh, what else I got here? Dive, dive flags. Uh, the blue and the white one. That's what we use here in Australia and New Zealand, I believe. And um, the red and white one is in North America. I, it came with it, so yeah. Oh, that rain's getting really heavy outside. <laughs> um, this is a rope that attaches to the boot, um, the float for the dive flags. It's a quite a large one, as you can. As you can tell, inflates um, and yeah, it just holds the floats on the surface. It also got um, underneath 
spots where you can attach um, lines on. So if you're spear fishing or whatever, it's a quite nice little too. Addition. I don't know what I'll use that um, those uh, hanging spots for yet. But I'll work it out. I do have um, dive booties too. These are really great. Um, of course, they fit into your fins a lot better, and they keep your feet relatively warm too. So I highly recommend these. These I just got it for eBay. I think I owe oh, like ten bucks, five bucks. They're not much at all. Um, got a couple of key holders. Um, so yeah, I bought this the little one first. That were um, can't remember where I got that one from, but it just did not hold my keys. It's just too small. This one here is much bigger, much better at holding keys. Um, I got this one from Adreno. Oh, that one there I got from um, Anaconda. I remember now, yeah, Anaconda. But not good. I would not recommend that one. But this from from Adreno. Adreno, Adreno. I'm not sure how they sell it. <laughs> Um, but this one's really great and much better for bigger keys. I'd highly recommend that. Um, a little, I think not many people use, but I do, because I'm in a colder environment. There's a little thermometer. When this is plugged in and charged, um, when this has got batteries in it, I'll let this sit in the water for a few minutes, come back, check it, and if it's a relatively nice temperature, then I'll get in. But it just saves, because sometimes you might your body tricks you into thinking, oh yeah, the water feels warm. Then you get in there, you might catch hypothermia. Um, I got some knee pads of different varieties, because you know, if we're around rocks or whatever, just protects the knees a bit better. Uh, just a pair of cheap gloves, I think $10 gloves from eBay. They work really well, never had a problem. Haven't got a hole in them yet. Um, I got various styles of rope. All from um, uh, different sources, Kmart, um, BCF, and I can't remember where that one, I think that was Aldi. Um, I keep some sandwich bags in case putting small items in, so they seal up quite nice. Uh, here I've got a, a dive hood from Adreno, again. Um, it's a Pro, uh, Aeropec, I think it is called, Aeropec. Um, it's a quite a thick one. I think it's like a three, three mil one or five mil. I think it's a three mil, yeah, three mil hood, which keeps my head nice and warm. It's also got a uh, the spot at the top where it lets the water flow through, so it, um, yeah, it just keeps the body temperature regulated a bit better. Uh, finally, I've got um, my wetsuits that I keep in my box as well. This is just a, a shorty. Um, from Eldies, just a three mil. It works well for when it's warmer. Um, I do use that quite often. Um, and then over this side here, I got my steamer. Oh, that's just a spare belt. It's not. It's just a cheap one from eBay again. I'm quite frugal with everything. <laughs> this one here is um, a, a steamer, nice long one. Um, again, same three mil. This one's from Find Water Sports. Um, it's just cheap. Um, I have torn it, so that's how cheap it is. Um, I, I do like it, but I do need to do a repair on it before I go dive next with that one. I am looking at getting a, a five or seven millimeter wetsuit because in the cold environments down here, um, down here, it's really hard to get into the water. Um, yeah, so that's that's everything. Um, if anybody wants to see a uh, individual item um, review, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments, if, and I'll be happy to do that. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe, and I'll catch you all in the next vid. Bye.